Alright, hello everyone, this is Redris, and we are back with Pokemon uh, Alpha Sapphire. I'm, I'm, I'm getting close to not having to think about it, because I keep saying in my head I'm about to say silver. But yeah, Alpha Sapphire should be done. Well, yeah. We are playing Alpha Sapphire, and silver is done on my channel if you ever want to go check that out. It is 107 episodes of me talking to myself and playing Pokemon. I sound crazy most of the time. Team Aqua Grunt, not Puchiana. Oh, ah. Also, uh, Duke Sanchez, have you checked, have you seen anything about the, um, what are they called? Uh, not, I was about to say Anthem again. Have you heard anything about the Neo 2 project, or Neo 2, or maybe Sekiro? If you have any interest in the FromSoft titles, too. Well, you probably do have interest in the FromSoft titles. Because who wouldn't at this point in time? Like, Dark Souls is probably one of the biggest known games. And I forgot to... I have to fix a thing because I moved on to a fight. And I didn't realize... There we go. Separate lower screens... So I beat up the Team Walker Grunt that was in the cave already, so no one gets to see that. Alright, I'm actually going to ask you to hop in and talk to me about Sekiro some, just because I don't plan on getting it immediately. That's fair. I mean, a FromSoft title is usually a good thing to s sit behind. Although it's not necessarily always the best option. Why are you going? Why are you not showing up anywhere? There it is. Fixed it. I hate when that happens, and I don't notice it. I'm back that badly. Yes, let's take the Devon parts from you. All I did was beat him up with a Torchic, so no worries there. Hi, and Pico, I'm glad you're safe. Hello. Sure. Cottage near Petalburg Woods, gotcha. Like, uh, you remember Par, or, yeah, Fam, right? Uh, I think, well, you would know him as maybe Taeon, Parham. That we played a lot of Overwatch with. He is so big into the FromSoft titles that sometimes I have to talk him down from his love of, like, Dark Souls and the like. It's actually pretty fun. He's a, he's a great dude. So are you, man. There we go. That would work better. Let's peck again. And see if I can catch you this time, Whismer. But, hey, Dark Souls is good. Well, to an extent. I enjoyed playing Dark Souls 3 with Zack, but I still am not... I'm not sold on the forced PvP. Oh wow, the statues? Like, the actual figure statues? Physical? That's fucking awesome, dude. Oh, have you, uh, seen the board game? The Dark Souls board game? And Richard Luth leveled up. Let's peace share. Yep. Whismer was caught. Okay. Captured. Yeah. That is fair. A lot of the issue comes with when you deal with a cheater in Dark Souls 3. Or any Dark Souls. And it's a lot easier for people to cheat on the, uh... Let me check, make sure I don't have any new subscribers listed. No one wants to be a Whismer, I guess. Yeah, the minis... Well, oh, the first set of minis is good. After that, they seem to go downhill. I have I know somebody that has the game, and I've been watching people play it. I want to get in and, like, get Tabletop Simulator, play that and a few other tabletop games. It would be fun. <clears throat> oh, popped and pop back, Al. All right, so we'll move on from naming you Whismer. 
Oh, hey, Torch it. I forgot you were evolving. Yeah, the tabletop simulator on PC. It allows all sorts of games, and I love the idea of it. <sighs> Hello, Richard the Combuskin. Richard has become a bigger chicken. Double kick. Yes, please. That would have been useful in that last... I know I've been using Sand Attack a lot. I don't like it particularly. Yeah, I'm looking for a base version of the board game because I'm actually going to... So this is how nerdy I am. I'm going to buy a base expan or the base game of Dark Souls, the board game, to take to a um, essentially a bachelor party for my friend. That'd be a nice thing. Yeah, that'd be awesome. I'll have to check out the shroomy. That sounds awesome. Yeah. Can I? No. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Wait. There you go. I opened up his Twitch, actually. Let's mute the site for now. Ooh, Shroomy, you're playing uh, Devil May Cry. I need to get that. I definitely need to get that. It seems like it'll be a fun game. Yeah. There's a lot of there's a lot of good Twitch communities, especially the small ones. Uh, how do I get this to go away again? There we go. Yeah, it's just knowing how to grow. Ah. Oh, I've got everything for here too. So let's just run back. Ah, crud. Wait, why am I alt-tabbing? That was dumb of me. Like, the person that I kind of am following when I started streaming... Right. Yeah, like, it's always nice to know that there's just people that are gonna be nice. They're good, decent people overall. There we go. Hit one time. Yeah. Uh, Pokemon. Let's move you, move you. Hi. And move you. There we go. And now I have a Talo. That will... A Talo with Brave Bird, of all things. Like... I caught a Talo with probably one of the most impressive flying type attacks there is. At level like three. Oh jeez. Yeah. Stream might be cut a little short because of me forgetting to do my uh, thing. Alright, level two evolutions. So, five, six, eight, five, five. What do you think? Shroomish, Slackoth, or Surskit? They all start with S's. Bell Stinger, Sleep Talk, and Yawn. Absorb Tackle, and Stun Spore. Do thing on stream. I don't quite understand what you're saying, Sir Arson, but okay. Oh, yeah, charging. I do not have a save slack off for later. Okay, let's see. So what's the next options, then? Shroomish or... S oh, so, yeah, Skitty is going... Well... <laughs> Fair point, but... Eh. Skitty has to wait because it's level 8. I'm doing them based off of level right now, and... These three down here are the ones we have a choice of. That's the thing. When Slackoth evolves into Vigoroth, I'll put him back in the storage. Like, I, well, I put him here. 
with the other level 2 evolutions. So I'll have Vigoroth later. For later points. Oh. Uh, yeah, so what I forgot to do before stream is charging my DS, so it is slowly dying on me. So anytime I make a solid decision, I'm probably going to save just so I don't forget. Surskit, Slackoth, Shroomish. Uh, yeah. I am not close enough to a port, I don't think. Actually, give me a second. Okay, so crisis averted. I um, the cord is actually long enough to reach from where I was to where I am. I want to bring you into party because I think the point was, I think the point here is to, yeah. And now my average Wind Waker randomizer. Um. I think I watched the Wind Waker randomizer. Is it a new one or is it an older one? No, wait, no, it's not Wind Waker I watched. It was a different game. Thank you for my healing my team. But I mean, there's nothing wrong with watching someone just play a game for eight hours. And I'm not saying that just as the uh, streamer that I want to become, but as a person that watches eight to ten hour streams sometimes. And yeah, we'll put Slackoth in party, so I'll have Vigoroth ready for a higher level team. And then get slacking. Because I won't actually be able to use slacking for a while. Oop, I almost forgot. I almost forgot. I need cut, and I need to teach something cut. So I can just have access to that. HN put to good use, I can do that. True. I generally have something up in the background. It's either YouTube or Twitch, something running in the background. So it's, I mean, paying attention to the stream, okay. and. I, at my actual day job, I spend a lot of time with streams and stuff on the computer in the background. Because it's easy. Cut tree. Oh wait, that's right. I need to teach something cut, because this is not the new generation games. Which I like the new generation games for what they do. Like, not having to worry about Yeah, but I can throw my HM on a random Pokemon and be fine with it. This move should be replaced with Cut. Um, Growl, I guess, or Tail Whip. I don't use those. I used Sand Attack recently because, well, Rollout is a bitch if it doesn't miss, and doesn't seem to ever miss. Was that a meme or did I say that wrong? Whatever. Memes are lame. Hey, got a free revive. Well, not a free one. A pre-placed one. Actually, Pokemon. I have to remember that you have pickup. What? Oh, right. I thought it said he was holding an HM. He has an HM that he can use. That makes sense. Well, that makes more sense than what I thought. Yeah, on a normal playthrough, you use way too many... Like, HMs are just bad because they take up slots. Now, Strength and Surf, I like, because they are they have enough power to them. 
Also, remind me that I need to catch a Wormpole while I'm here, because I need to train another Wormpole. It's a Silcoon. I was hoping that might have been a Cascoon. Now, a Cascoon would also be nice to put my hands on. But again, like I said, in the new generation games, you no longer have to worry about HMs. And I think they're going to keep up that tradition now, which is fantastic. Like, they did the ride Pokemon. They did the uh, Pikachu special abilities and stuff like that. I think that's a good fix that they gave us for the game. Other than, like, in the Pikachu one, I would personally rather not have to... Well, I don't want to have to have one Pokemon that does everything. I would rather do, like, the ride Pokemon, where, you, okay, you are technically renting a Pokemon to use them to be able to get around. I think that's a good idea. Like, well, the Pikachu and Eevee, because I have the Eevee version. There we go. What have you got going on, kid? Hey, I got a Miracle Seed. Makes Grass-type moves better. Yeah, but Let's Go is meant to be a mimicry of yellow. Or not, eh. Yeah, mimic of yellow. Oh, hi, there's something I don't have? What are you? Oh, that is exactly what I was looking for. This should be the Cascoon that I missed. I think. Yeah, there we go. But, yeah, it's meant to be a mimic of the Pokemon Yellow version. Which is kind of why you run into that issue of having... Having to not be able to evolve your Eevee. I feel like they should have introduced a... Like, an extra evolution. Like, they should have made your Pikachu evolve into the Alolan Raichu. At a random point. Not like... Not like you have to feed it a stone and it does it. It's just, hey, it evolved. And then the Eevee should have gotten a new evolution. Maybe. Or it should have evolved into the Gen 2. Like, the friendship-related ones, maybe. Or could have evolved into something else. Hell, it would have been nice to get the normal type evolution for Eevee. That would have been fun, right? One, two, and three. There we go. Now I have my Cascoon. That's awesome. Cascoon was caught. Woo! Well, it's level 35. Cascoon's data was added to the Pokedex. Yeah, but a lot of people have bias towards Espeon and Umbreon. It's, they're like two of the only Pokemon, well, two of the only EV starters that actually takes time to, like, takes effort to gain. And again, we have no one to name a Pokemon after because I still have not received any subscribers. But hey, all in due time, right? Box one. Because you're a second evolution, other than level stuff. Oh, I I jumped over a Pokeball. I jumped. They are also the best. Yeah, generally they are probably the better options. Although the uh, fairy type is definitely up there in quality. I believe, unless I'm wrong. I could be wrong. That's a very common thing for me, is being wrong. <laughs> Infusion. Sylveon, that's the name of it. Sylveon, the fairy type evolution. And also there's the... What would be nice? Ah, you just think they are the best. You weirdo. That is a cute little face you posted, though. You can't evolve a Eevee, you can't evolve your Eevee. That is... that is a fair point to make. 
Can you teach the other Eevees the move sets that you can get for your Eevee? I'm curious. Like, I've never bothered to catch another Eevee. Sylveon and... Okay, so Umbreon is pretty bad. Sylveon and Espeon are good. Gotcha. Yeah, your Eevee is special. If they wanted it to be special, they should have made it shiny. That would have thrown everyone. Boss fight in Dark Souls 3? What boss? Oh, his defense fell. It doesn't have a lot of defense anyways, so whatever. There we go. Zigzagoon is out. Ralts gained 40 experience and leveled up. Ding. Ralts learned teleport. That can be very useful to get out of sticky situations. And normal sticky, not weird sticky. Hi. Ah, yeah. I skipped a Pokeball again. I also like that the later games gave you better ways to grind than just standing at the Elite Four for hours. Like, you have... In this one, the option. I still have to beat Madeir. I'll have to do that on stream someday. When I get back into Dark Souls again. That's the only thing I haven't beaten in three. Yeah. You have the ability to challenge trainers that are just kind of standing here. You had to cheese Madeir. He's terrible. If I get into him by... Like, with all the Monster Hunter I've played, it feels so different to fight Madeir. It feels like it's a Monster Hunter monster. But you are not decidedly... What? Oh, I completely forgot, didn't I? I have to go to the Devon Corp. Does this take me to the nearest Pokemon Center or the last Pokemon Center I went to? I, yeah, I forgot. I needed to go to Devoncore. Corp. So let's go do that real quick. Pestilent Mist does percent damage, though, so you can just survive. Interesting. Hey, I got some Great Balls. Eh, wait. That was weird. First boss... Ooh, you started a cleric build, so... Okay, healing. Or, er, healing. But the cler... Eh, the cleric... Mechanics and stuff, so... You've got holy and all that. Interesting. Please come with me. Well, yeah, maybe. I mean, the private build, you don't get enough. I mean, well, you get plenty. You get everything you need, really, because, yeah. Like, some people... I don't know anything about Dark Souls. I can't tell you anything. I was, I was considering doing a deprived build for my very first build, but instead got got uh, argued into becoming a knight. Motherfucking rip stream, too. Good Christ. Bring up. Why does it do this so often? There we go. Like, it just freezes for no reason. I do hate that. Is it this one? No? Maybe it's the other one. There we go. It's fixed. There we are. Yeah. I mean, so from my understanding, I can see 
dex builds more of cowardly than anything. Just because they run away. I basically RP'd into only using whips. Uh, my Dark Souls 3 character, I RP'd into becoming Havel. So I'm, I'm just Havel at this point. I'm thick Havel too. Like, I'm big. Like, during the, uh, during our playthrough, who was it? It was, I ran into Chase the Bro while he was doing some invasions, and it was fun. <laughs> like, I was, like, we were perfectly honorable, I let Zack fight him first, because Zack was, Zack is a fan of him, so he wanted to fight him. So I let him, and then I got my ass beat. <laughs> because I am not good at PvP. I'm not... I'm not particularly fond of it either. You know, I, yeah, let's exit that, because... Yeah. No, like, good shield builds are fantastic in most games. Like Monster Hunter, I actually, um, there is a, an arena challenge or something like that that gives you a shield build because you're supposed to stand in a corner while Diablos and Black Diablos fight over who gets to hit you. Which, it gets ridiculous, but you don't lose stamina, you don't drop guard, and... You kind of just poke them when you can. Yeah. Honestly, I thought it was fun. Like, it's a pain in the ass to deal with, but if we just stand there and let it go... Like, the best option we have is probably two heavy shield weapons and just poke them as often as we can. And probably stand on opposite sides. Hey, remember, we were only 50, 41 seconds shy. So as long as you don't die again, I think we'll have and we'll have no issues. Because I think we could have probably dealt with it better if if you didn't die twice or three times, maybe. Just curious check, curiosity check. I think it was three times. You died eight times in that hunt? No, that's not right. You can't have died that many times. Yeah, Heavy Bogan probably was not the best choice. Like, something with a... Like, like Lance and Gun Lance. Gun Lance probably was the best choice for that. Because I could just stand there. Oh, wow. We have to see again. Yeah. I could just stand there. And nothing hurt me. I'm sure you are, ja uh, Dookie. The issue we had with that hunt yesterday was the fact that we weren't allowed to bring our own weapons. They gave you pre-assigned weapons with pre-assigned skills, and you had to deal with it. So you're under-armored most of the time, you are under strength most of the time. It seems like the monsters have less health anyways, though. Yeah, also the tiny arena. With two fairly big... With two massive, um... Diablos in the arena. Which is a pain. The other arena, you could have actually separated them, too. That would make it doubly manageable. Gunner. Yeah, those are good too. Huh? So with staff and dual wield and hammer. So yeah, you're. Are you better with heavy gun or light bow gun? Because you said gunner. Is it heavy or light that you're proficient with? 
And then staff would, I guess, be the insect glaive. Dual wield would be dual blades and hammer's hammer. Easy enough. Fusion. Oh, wait. I forget. Does poison do extra damage to... To psychic or does psychic do extra damage to poison? Super effective. Psychic does extra damage to poison. That's good. I am... So, for this play of Monster Hunter World, I've been primarily working on bow builds. Which is fun. Oh, wait. Guys on YouTube, please stay safe. Have a nice day. I'll see you next time because this is the end of this episode. We'll be back with Twitch because I am still going around, though.